is Richard, Find the Book Reader's Blog, and I've got here the new Sony PRS650 Touch Edition ebook reader. Okay, first of all, it's got a brand new touch screen. It's, um, it's an infrared based screen made by Neonode. It's optically clear, it's quite responsive, uh, no more glare, which was a big problem with the last uh, lineup of Sony's. Okay, on the top here, we have a power button. These are uh, memory card slots. I've still got the little protector things in so they don't get dirt in them, but this is um, um, Sony's proprietary, I forget what it's called, memory stick. This one is the SD card slot. Your stylus goes in here. You don't need to use a stylus for the um, touch screen, but I will. Okay. Hotchkun, we've discussed your behavior before. Let's uh, be off with you there. Sorry, he thinks this is Animal Planet or something here. Okay. Um, on the bottom, we have your volume control. There's a headphones jack, a USB, and your reset. And the the case itself is aluminum. It's quite solid, feels good in your hand. The back, they've put a rubberized coating on it. Okay, I also have here Kindle 3, so I'll just do like a quick and dirty page turning competition. It's not really scientific. They're not. It's, it's the same book. They're not exactly on the same page, but generally speaking, the Kindle seems a little bit quicker. But the Sony's still pretty fast. You know, they've both got new hardware. The new Pearl screens. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to look in the video, but at, at the moment, the Kindle seems a little bit lighter background, but in a lot of lights, the Sony, the background of the screen looks a little bit lighter than the Kindle to me. I guess it just depends on the light. Okay, at the bottom here we have uh, five buttons. We've got left and right page turning buttons, home screen, which takes you to your library. This is a size button, which is not going to work here. Let me go back to the book. Size button, which you can change uh, different fonts. Okay, you also have uh, zoom in where you can use this slider. This is uh, useful for the PDFs. Things. Uh, you can also lock it so that it maintains your zoom level as you go from page to page. Uh, one thing you can do too, let me see, yeah, okay, if you push the size button and the page turning button at the same time, it steps up, it just increases up by 10% each time you push it. Okay. We'll try note taking. Okay, this is the note taking application. You can turn pages in this, so if you're taking a lot of notes and things, you don't have to open it up on each page each time you need to make a note, which is helpful. Um, for highlighting, touch screen works very well for this. Again, you can use your finger. I'm just using this. It's easier in the video. You can uh, draw freehand. erase that. This type of thing works really well with the uh, touch screen. You can just see how. Okay. I think I 
lifted the sky, stylus off the screen a bit there, but generally it works quite well. Another thing uh, that's working very well is the dictionary. You just double tap on a word and you get the dictionary. Now, a really cool feature is there are actually 12 dictionaries here. There's the New English, uh, New Oxford American, the New Oxford uh, English. Okay. Hachi, oh, you're really becoming a nuisance here. In addition to those, you have 10 translation dictionaries, which you can switch to any of these on the fly. You just click the one you want. So you, if there's a foreign word, or if you want to translate a word into another language, it supports French, German, Spanish, and Italian, then it's very quick and easy to do so. Oh, it uh, supports Dutch as well. Another thing that's really easy with the touch screen is putting a bookmark. You just double tap there or double tap again to get rid of it. It works quite well. Uh, let's see what else here. Sony has added an interesting feature that might be helpful. It's not going to work. It's not going to be helpful while you're just reading a normal book, but basically you can change the background and saturation and stuff of the font and and the background this might come in handy if you are reading a scanned document that didn't come through too clearly or you know maybe there's some color in the background or if you're looking at a picture could come in handy speaking of pictures there's a kind of cool uh, this is a PDF. Okay, let me change the uh, orientation here. I'll go to z if I'm in a zoom mode. Now, if I want to get a closer look at this graphic, all I do is tap it, double tap it, and it's automatically um, resized to fit the screen. This should work with with most uh, photos or graphics that are in a page. It's actually quite cool. <coughs> uh, when you are zoomed in, you can lock your zoom level, so that way you don't have to change it each time you change your page. can use these arrows to pan around. You can also use your finger. Panning is definitely much faster with the newer hardware. For library management, you can you have collections. You can make new collections, delete collections without deleting the books in them. You can delete books from the device so that you don't have to connect it to the computer to delete them. On the whole, it's uh, this one is pretty solid. It's definitely a major improvement since our last e-reader, and. I'm pretty happy with it. I still prefer the Kindle just because, you know, one of the major reasons is that the Kindle has the Kindle store, which is, uh, you know, the biggest ebook store. They have the best selection, and uh, in, in some cases they have better prices if it's not, not governed by the agency model. Okay, but anyway, that's my take on the Sony Touch.